in today's lecture we will actually see how we can uh, build our amazon pnc systems for pull and bit output plugin so if you are watching this video we are assuming that you are already familiar with firelands firelands is kind of a log routing solution for aws ecs and forget customers mostly and today it's actually expanding its border to support more services and customers however uh, firelands under the hood supports fluent d and fluent bit for routing logs and aws for fluent bit basically is a amazon distribution for fluent bit which is like a open source log routing solutions as of today i believe like aws for fluent bit image has like three go plugins for supporting the log routing solutions to ship logs to different destinations one for amazon Kinesis systems, which is like Amazon Kinesis systems for Fluent Bit. Another is Amazon Kinesis Firehouse for Fluent Bit, which supports to send or ship your logs to Kinesis Firehouse. And another is Amazon CloudWatch logs for Fluent Bit, which actually supports to ship your logs to CloudWatch. So, in today's lecture, we will basically focus on the Amazon Kinesis systems for Fluent Bit output plugin. Let me clear uh, one thing first like if you want to build the aws for fluent bit image or want to use it directly definitely you can go to the aws for fluent bit github folder uh they do have a good documentation in their readme file how you can build it test it or run the integration test and uh use the images however in today's lecture uh we will try to help the folks who are trying to build the amazon kinesis systems for fluent bit output plugin themselves and play with it locally all right to start, so let's go to the GitHub folder for Amazon Kinesis Systems for Fluent Bit, and you can get the code from here. Let's get the link, and in your shell, just type the command git clone this. I already have my code here, so uh, let's see what we can do as the very first step of our today's lecture. Let's create a Docker file in the root directory of our plugin. Beam docker file so in this docker file i'm not going to explain all the basic stuff so you can have a look here and maybe search for it what actually we are doing here so one main thing is like we are copying our stuff from the current directory to kinesis systems if you don't want to copy your code from current directory and if you want to use your code from some github repository then you can use this command run git clone from your github repository and copy them to kinesis systems mm -hmm. then move your work directory to kinesis systems then run the command make release and here we are getting the latest aws for fluent bit image from docker hub i am using the 2.5.0 version and we are running some commands so one important thing is like just to say okay we are copying our currently built kinesis.s which is i believe the shared object file so we are using this and we are using the fluent bit then the fluent bit config file okay let's save this file then how do you can do uh we can create like a fluent bit config file fluent bit.config here is a basic example config file and i believe you already have some idea this is the service level configuration plus like log level and the input forward input plugin we are using and the output plugin here we see you need to mention the name of the output plugin as kinesis and mass release everything by default region is us os2 and here we can see like stream this is the kinesis stream name uh where we will actually send our data and this is the kinesis data stream name which i have created earlier i can show you like if i go to my console i can see i already have my fluent bit kinesis stream uh data stream created here so uh, i just put the name here and these are the some configurations you will definitely get some details idea if you read the readme file so let's save this file now let's create a directory mm, say for local test and in this directory we can create our logger application which will generate some logs and let's create a simple c file logger.c i wrote a simple c example here which is just printing some steps 
uh, from 0 to uh, 100. Let's save it. Then let's create a Docker file to Dockerize our sample C application. I am naming it dockerfile.logger. Here is a simple Docker file to Dockerize our C application. Let's save it. Okay, so we wrote a Docker file to Dockerize our Kinesis plugin and then we wrote another Docker file for our simple logger applications, which is a C program. Now I can give you some command uh, which you can put here. So here's the proper guideline how we can build and test our image locally. Let's clear our window a little bit. Okay, so what files do we have? We have everything in the root folder. Okay, let's move our logger file to our local test. Then move our command file also there. Then move our docker file dot logger to local test. Okay, cd to our local test. Okay, we got our file here. Let's see what do we have in the command file. Okay, it says like we need two terminals to understand the workflow properly. In terminal or shell one, run the following bit for Kinesis image. It says cd to the root folder. Let's go back to our root folder. Then it says run this command to build the Kinesis image. Let's try. Okay, now our Amazon. Kinesis systems for clean bit is building. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. Okay, it seems like we are done. Okay, let's see the command again. Uh, local test command. Okay, now it says run our Kinesis container. I'm copy pasting the command to run it. And it's setting an environment variable full in log level is equal to divert and setting the default port here and the image name which we just built a couple of minutes earlier which is kinesis latest let's see okay so our plugin has started and it's waiting and listening let's create another new terminal and move to our local test let's see the command okay it says like okay run another terminal terminal 2 run docker image with the logger application or you can do uh, build the image first all right then run the command to the docker price c application and it says docker run setting the log driver here is equal to fluent d and using the image with a field all right so our c program printed some numbers from 0 to 100 and let's go back to our say it says like okay flashing 101 logs and it worked send 101 events to kinesis and everything worked flashed Ooh, we are done let's see go back to the another terminal and run the command again and you can see okay it will again send yes so again flushed 101 logs now to understand in more clearly let's edit our uh, logger file a little bit so what you can do for building and testing locally say for here i am editing test our log then we can say not 101 501 Let's see how it goes. Okay. Now build the logger app again and run the logger application and see what happens on the other terminal. See, flashed. Okay, flashing 501 logs with these. And we can see like send 500 events to Kinesis. So our 500 events in sent to our kinesis system okay if we go to our aws console we can definitely see some data has been stored in our kinesis system so okay so i believe it worked and this is all for today 
However, I have created a different branch in my uh, personal GitHub repository. I will definitely share the link in the video description below. Please check for it if you need it. So from this link, you can see all the file I changed to show you the example here from my personal GitHub repository. Okay, that's all for today.